Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com and today we're going to talk about Digibyte US Dollar, Digibyte Bitcoin and the crazy thing that has happened in the chart yesterday to all cryptocurrencies. The price of cryptocurrency has dropped compared to the value of the dollars or euro or pounds or whatever. Before I continue, obviously, I would like you to read the disclaimer. So please pause the video and read the disclaimer and if you don't know how to do paper trading, which is the the only advice I give you in this channel, just click on the actually check the link that I am showing in the video or click in the description or on the pinned comment where we can see how to set up trading view for paper trading. Now, uh, this is really singular to me. I mean, I, I'm not financial expert. I'm not expert in uh, politics behind events and things like that, uh, which is more for probably fundamental analysts or even maybe not even them. I wouldn't know. That's why I do technical analysis and it actually works quite well. But yesterday I read Bitcoin on Twitter saying, well, now because of coronavirus, the countries will print a lot of money and, you know, if they print money, they cause inflation. And if inflation happens, the cost of life increases. And they said Bitcoin was designed exactly for these events. And uh, yes, oh, let me start with the timer. It's not going to be long, probably, unless I start talking about things that are not relevant. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, you, you see Bitcoin is dropping. And uh, to be honest, to me, I am not completely sure why should coronavirus affect other assets of value even even gold dropped and which is weird to me i mean i don't i don't really see the relation between the fact that prices are dropping due to the coronavirus but that's because i'm ignorant no, it's not because i don't think it's, uh, it should happen i really don't know but to me this drop in the bitcoins drop which which is why i wasn't completely fond on the digibyte rally because it follows Bitcoin, they just are not related. I mean, I've, I've been calling Bitcoin drop since August last year, and you know it. And I said, it's going to go bad. And I also showed you a few days ago what I think is going to happen to Bitcoin. So it goes to below $1,000, which is not exactly confirmed, but that's a theory that I have in my mind, and I show you why. So now let's talk about Digibyte, it's, but it's going to be basically the same. Now with this price dropping like that, and we have no previous history, let me go to the monthly view. We have no, nothing that we can see here that allows us to figure out what is the next support. All we can do really is just drawing a line here, which is support and uh, maybe another one later, but I think I also have created the zero line. Zero I cannot technically do. I went to just 0 0.00001, okay? And uh, that's basically, if it goes there, <laughs> yes, okay. That means that Digibyte is gone. But you see, the price yesterday went really down. And if you were smart enough to buy at this price, I don't know whether it's going to really go any lower than this. But definitely for weeks and months, like I was anticipating, we should not expect now any bull market, which is also why I'm considering maybe not doing Digibyte anymore, at least not daily. I will check it and I, if I spot something, I will make a video, but I don't see the reason why I should keep going and say, oh, well, Digibyte today is going to go up, it's going to drop. It's not going to make a reversal for weeks, if not months, right? So let me know in the comments what you would like me to do. If you still want to see Digibyte, I may do it. I don't think I will be able to make daily videos starting from tomorrow, but I will try. And um, what I would do instead is going to the cryptocurrency pairs. In fact, in my Facebook group, and if you are in the group, you already know, I have been calling a couple of them saying, well, this one is about to rally. And all of this has happened before this. And this is just a consequence. I mean, it's not a consequence. It's just was about it was going to happen in my opinion anyway regardless the coronavirus completely i don't see any relation there was i already called this this stuff here 
But anyway, sorry for today's video, it's gonna be weird. Let me go in the daily view. Daily view shows Digibyte going on oversold, and this is just one. Now, let me also make another support line in here, right? Because this is it. Now, we are seeing the formation of a bull harami here, right? Which is not really, doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that now it's only going to go higher for a while. Maybe it will stop at 0.004-ish in this area, but then it's very likely going to drop again. And I think it's going to make a retest of the previous lows. I don't think it's going to go lower than this. If it goes, it really goes toward nothing. And at that point, I would enter, even if I don't trade currencies that I cannot short, which is why I don't trade Digibyte, because I cannot I cannot find a broker that allows me to short Digibyte. But yeah, definitely. Uh, I would enter as an investor at that point because it can only go up, right? So this is not bad news, but what I think is happening right now is just that, okay, it's been dumped. Let me go to the 12 hours because it was interesting. It's been dumped. What time frame did I go? Eight hours, okay. We have a hammer here. But now the reaction is people will lose faith and a lot of people will leave. Now we will take their money back or what the leftovers of their money back more likely. But that's just normal. And um, at this point, that's why I say it's important to enter in the right time. And that wasn't time to enter. Now in here is probably going to be time to enter. I would wait for the price to go back to this low here because that, that's what I think is going to happen. We're going to make several retests. Maybe it's going to go sideways for a while. And for a while, I really mean for a long time, right? And then I would just buy then. Here we have what looks like a kind of reversal, but it's not a reversal pattern to me. So as I said, it can go up now to about 4004, 004, yes, 0 0.004 in this area here, maybe even here, won't definitely go above this. So just wait for a better time to enter. But at this point, what I would say is DGBBTC, if you really want to do that, this is the time to do. Now, yes, okay, uh, Digibyte has been below the support line in here, definitely, okay, and it didn't technically close below it, below this hammer. It's now opening below the hammer, so it's creating a gap, okay? And this gap will probably be a new resistance for a while, right? Let me just draw the line for this gap here. This is going to be our new resistance for a while. I don't know, I cannot predict how low the price will go, but definitely what I believe is going to happen is that we're just having people... Oh, now, this is Digibyte, right? Digibyte is different than other, and you see it's already going up. So, people selling their Digibyte, we're, che we're checking Digibyte compared to Bitcoin, right? But people are taking their Digibyte out, their Digibyte asset out. People are really taking their money out. And that also because, because of that, this price will drop it's not avoidable, it cannot be avoided. This price will drop, but we are shaking them off. We are taking people who have no experience in this. And if we check the indicators, it is possible that this is a bullish divergence still. However, the thing is this, if, like me, I, I, if I, I am a Bitcoin investor, right? So I have two options now. I either sell my Bitcoin and I cash in, I will be profitable still if after this drop, I will still be profitable with Bitcoin. But because I'm an investor, I'm not going to sell Bitcoin. So the, the logical thing for me to do is moving my money from Bitcoin into another Bitcoin pair, which could be Digibyte. I could buy Digibyte now because I'm not looking for taking dollars or pounds or whatever from the market, right? I'm just looking to increase the amount of my Bitcoin because I believe that Bitcoin is going to be worth much, much more than it is right now. So the thing is this, I'm sorry for this video, it's going to be a little longer than usual. Um, people like me, who, thinks like, who think like me, they will not take their money out. They will just move their money from Bitcoin to other assets. It could be Digibyte, it could be whatever. And if you check, if you check on my Facebook group, which is 
promisingtrader.com slash Facebook if you want to join me there. I have been calling already BitShares and, and, D and Dogecoin, all right, okay? As a Bitcoin pair though, not as a investment in dollars, right? So if you have Bitcoin, just move your Bitcoin, you should have moved them before, move your Bitcoin into another pair that is going to grow and if you want me to call more, just join me on Facebook because I will give you, I will tell you when to enter and when not to enter something. And you can ask me questions as well. So that's the point. Now, it may drop a little more. Yes, indeed. But because Bitcoin is going to keep dropping now, these are going to go up because people will not keep their money into an asset that is losing value. They will keep their money into an asset that is about to grow in value, that is worth not much, like Digibyte, like BeShare, like Dogecoin, like all these ones, um, Ripple, all the things on a Bitcoin pair. But also that would apply also to the Ethereum pairs and all of the other pairs that you can trade with um, other uh, altcoins. So this is my advice. If you don't know what to do, just join me on Facebook and I will tell you, but I wouldn't panic and I would stop doing the Digibyte videos daily. I may give you BitShares, Doge, Coin or something like that daily. It makes more sense to me. Let me just know which one you want me to do. Okay, with this I conclude my video. It's um, probably kind of two, three minutes longer than usual than it should be. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little different than usual, but I think it was necessary for you to know what's going on and I wouldn't panic at all. And thank you for watching. If you want to know more, just join me on Facebook again. Have a beautiful day and a beautiful weekend ahead. Bye bye.